plethora of agents we can put in that type of situation. Paper yep. Rex being one of those teams that were, I would say, one of the first few teams actually to bring out the Yoro here and to great success versus Secret, who's done the same thing. I will echo your thoughts. Like, I think it was also announced, or, uh, or rather, was put in a statistic that Yoro is one of those agents that has the lowest win rate on rank. But I mean, it's a, it's a whole different tool here that players are going to be using, although Dubstep not missing a beat this time. He wasn't too good on the chamber. This time he's going to rise up to the occasion as the Yoru with the double kill. As Paper Rex still managed to get themselves that control onto P-Long, but the multi-TP could be good. Jeremy on the encounter. Spots out one. Benkai going to be just rushing through to the A-site now, trying to get that plant in. Dispenser turret is going to activate. Now he knows. There's absolutely that he is right there. One minute for Ben here. And Big Ben Benkai. No damage taken, actually. This is still good. Three bullets into the chamber, though. We'll get spotted by the alarm bot. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We'll activate the Nano Swarm as well. Tries to TP out. Actually does. And Borkum, are you going to TP through to chase him? Is this the ballsy nope. Borkum? Nope. Nope. All right. So Dispenser's going to have playing contact. But Benkai still has the threat levels here. And again, still has the time to play this as much as he wants to. Now, Borkum, as he knows that Benkai is going to be on the site, will be TPing. Because he has this Vandal, he can really fight against Vash here. Vash will have to tap this. Does he have even a shock dart? A glimmer of something. The recon dart for a bit of that information. But he doesn't know. He doesn't know that Elbow's going to be there. For a first second for the 4K ND clutch. On a thrifty round for Paper Rex. What a round. What a read. What a man. Is it really the stuff of dreams or the stuff of nightmares? Yeah. As we saw, a momentous, momentous gunfight there and a clutch. Or Forsaken, I really thought that he would have been a goner here with Borkum really pushing into Paper X with a full head of steam, right? And like I said, it did look like the crossfire was going to come into fruition, but maybe just maybe a timing issue on that final flank. Didn't have too much utility, but sometimes, just sometimes, all you gotta do is click the head. Now Dubstep has a similar idea. He has the Sheriff in hand. Quite a bit of rifles on the side of Paper X now, looking to run up a lead that they potentially stolen away. Dubstep? I think he's still waiting for that teleport, but oh, so, so untimely. As Jing and Forsaken, they barrel onto the site. The pistols, man, I don't think they have enough to steal us away, but Secret, they've surprised us more than once. They could do the exact same, but Dispenser and Jeremy getting tickled violently by this Vandal. Forsaken. Oh, that shorty. No more bullets, unfortunately. Does get this a tad bit of value. Borkum somehow still manages to get the kill through the peak, through elbow. But the Spencer... Oof. Yeah, this is going to be just near impossible for him. I mean, that's what we said for maybe uh, Forsaken a couple of rounds ago. But this is so damn different. He's going to get spotted. <laughs> it's the train of rifles so that the Spencer doesn't get anything on the exit. Yeah, that he's is gonna have to die. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just so difficult for him to do anything here. Really, just sort of map control denial on the side of Paper X anyway. Especially considering Jing has found himself here on top of the box. Surprise, Dubstep! He gets that frag, and Forsaken oh, no. doesn't even need to put anything on Jesse Vash's Jing. He's been stealing the lights, he's been stealing the spotlight, as he's the star of the show for the moment. And Devai, despite getting that first shot on, will get stung down by Borkum. And again, this is only upgraded pistols, and maybe an SMG, but Borkum, he needs nothing to win apparently, but Benkai, he will give him everything to think about. Forsaken and Jing still holding on to this side very, very firmly, and a potential lineup here by Forsaken gutting down the rest of Secret's members. And even the Borkums rising up to the occasion, getting co a couple of these kills. Uh, the problem therein lies that Jing has done time and time again. Okay. It becomes not as clear what can Secret really do. What is their doorstop? What is their deterrent? That's Forsaken is all alone here. And is he actually gonna go for a teleport player now? Teleport play now. That would be incredibly ballsy. He's gonna get shut out, but oh. he will disappear. Oh. Just like that. And where is he? He is all the way into the spawn. Dumpstep! Now maybe, potentially, this could be what makes the difference, but the spray! It still goes in the way of Forsaken and Asteroid. There's just so much sensory overload on the side of Secret. What front is vulnerable? What is safe? As Forsaken has found himself in the smoke, breaking every single rule. And now Paper X, they have firm control over B yet again. 
Oh, they're lining up for him. Forsaken still hits the shot. Dispenser was spotted. On through the minimap. They're going to have to try to dispense him first. Take care of him. And that's what they actually really do. Bork, I'm going to be using the Orbital Strike just to delay them even further. But again, it's 40 seconds, man. They can do whatever they want, and it'll still look good for Paper Racks. Borkum coming through. Elbow here to People's Elbow. Ooh, who's only going to be on the side? I'm going to be on the contact left. through Okta here. And maybe he can sneak right in as Jeremy's making a lot of noise. Oh, no. Not knowing that somebody's going to be on a cubby there. He might have just needed to pop a shot. Maybe just try to read it to clear out the corner. But he wanted to make sure that might have been something that could have been an opening here for Team Secret. But no, oh. Paper Rex so quick on the adjustment. Like you said, the people's elbow could not be cleared in time, and despite the explosive nature of Reza's ult, they cannot stop the most electrifying move in esports history. As they still continue this lead, they're running it up now, Asurai. Again, we've talked about... Oh, fault like to follow up, that's gonna slow them even further, and Jing now, he's gonna know. And they're not gonna know. This is going to be absolutely horrendous for Team Secret. They're not going to know the flank's going to be coming in. Jeremy is very much aware, possibly, of it. Even if he loses oh. to... Uh, even if Jing loses to Jeremy here, he's he's by himself. Four versus one. Dubai just has no fear whatsoever. They're going embracing into the crossers of Jeremy. But he knows he doesn't have time. So he'll just have to back away. Ugh, this is... This is pretty heavy for Team Secret. They have gotten less rounds than what we saw in Ascent, and Forsaken is still here. He's charging right in, no and he's not going to allow Jeremy to save this for the next round. No ROI of this Vandal coming into the ninth. I believe that was the widest swing we've seen so far in APAC. <laughs> that man went from the airport all the way to whatever corner of the earth that he's found himself into. But Jing, wow, what movement. My goodness, just to avoid all of that. And if we're talking about investment here, those blast packs really did help so much. Jing again with such a powerful flank, but despite Jeremy getting all these kills right, um, ultimately it didn't lead too much. And now, yet again, we have a stifled by Asra. Right? This has just become such a common story for Team Secret. And they are hobbled. They are somewhat limping in this endeavor to steal a map away from Paper Rex. As Jing, he might actually nade out uh, Jesse Bash here, but Jesse, he escapes his own Aldrone just in the just the right amount of time. Taking minimal damage as well, but Jeremy, it's his turn to flag. He could find one, but that's all he finds. That's a spike down though, so that's enough information, but Jesse is here. Like I said, the chemistry between these two, it's unmistakable. But Paper X with the supreme firepower still gets those trays. Now they have A set in their sights. And Dispenser still has that lockdown, so this could be a very, very key thing on this retake. He's just pushing in through. He has no respect whatsoever. The flash gets him a little bit of access onto the back of the side. And he gets a shot onto Jesse Bash through the wall. What a shot from Forsaken. Borkum, a man on an island once again in U-Haul. And a TP out from Forsaken here. Oh no, Dispenser's not going to know about this. The Nightfall does... Oh, that spots him out. Now they know where he absolutely is. I mean... The spike is away from the hands of Paper Rex, but you know the Spencer is going to be pay, uh, playing. Not going to be able to do anything other than just save the weapons. And all throughout, my goodness. I can't even remember how Team Secret won their first round. As it's just absolutely been forsaken in the rest of Paper Rex. Bull I mean, bulldozing onto these sites. You just keep seeing all of this, and look at that. Just... You just know that Forsaken has played this particular agent so many times than mm. not. And it, even, yeah, I'll just, say, I'll just finish what I'm saying here. Even if yeah. it has statistically the worst win rate out of any agent, when it's in the hands of Forsaken, that don't matter now. Well, see, the thing is, in a game where a lot of ultimates can be incredibly pivotal, and Forsaken is an absolute battery. Well, sorry to jinx you, buddy, but Borkum actually finds him and cuts him down with a Spectre here, potentially finding a Vandal for himself, an upgrade potentially, as Jeremy gets that Showstopper into the face of Jing. And now some of the action has calmed down a little bit as Paper X, they make a Mad Dash. Mm. Now, this is something that I've been really appreciating about Paper X, even if they're feeling really, really good in a matchup. They saw there's a little bit of resistance, they're not forcing the issue. They move away. They go and use all that map control that they took early game. And the investments have been absolutely fantastic. Now, Jesse could potentially be the man of the law, but the Vi is a rule breaker. And he eliminates him from contention now. 3v2. That's going to delay them just a little bit. And could maybe, just maybe, Jeremy. give them 
a better fighting chance, like you said, Jeremy. He's on the prowl. Spike is he gonna knife him? him? I think he might knife him. You he's knife him. out. Yes. And he makes Jesse Vash proud, but the Vi, this is no time for pride. He raises the stakes, he's low HP, but Jeremy's the hero, and he keeps Team Secret alive. You gotta raise the flag, man. If your uncle is Jesse Vash, you gotta, if he's Tundo Senior, you're Tundo Junior. Gets the stab, gives them maybe also, you never know, man. Player boost, you know, because he got the stab kill. But it's still such a monumental lead from Paper X here. 3-9 Curse, if the chat's looking for it, you know, all of that good stuff. But yeah, there was a round statistically that, again, should have gone the way of Team Secret, and one of them was this. I think Jeremy also got the Showstopper off-cam kill onto Jing, as Jing was um, apparently going through U-Haul, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. But a really good interception from Team Secret here. We're talking about the Magic number 6 as a round to adjust, but it took them... Far longer than that, just for anything else. Jeremy on the contact, Forsaken pops a couple of shots, not unlucky enough to get anything through the smoke here. Mm -hmm. But the presence, again, of Paper Rex not faltering, even though they lost that one round. Just to Ash, ooh, gotta back away for just a teeny tiny bit. Yeah, I mean, it could be potentially not strangers to such fables as they go for a fairly aggressive buy here. They have double judges, one on Benkai, one on Forsaken. Look to take things to incredible lengths to make this as uncomfortable for Secret. And Forsaken, despite missing a first shot, gets the recovery onto Jeremy. Now the space being taken here. They're completely oh! blind! And they get shredded! They get tossed into the meat grinder! As Forsaken and Jing remember those names! They are gonna haunt Team Secret for the, the remaining rounds, Asurai. I was waiting for this moment, Raph. Now that we're here at match point, just like to remind everybody that if Paper, we uh, Paper Rex, excuse me, wins this, they will lock in slots for not only Masters 2, but also Champions. Champions, Oh Raph. my goodness. One oh. step closer to the zenith, the summit, the peak. Paper Rex, oh. they are determined, they are unbroken. And they see victory, they can taste it, they can smell it, they have it, they're palming the hands oh, and forsaken! No. He slaps Jeremy in the face with Buckshot, and he is pushing forward, giving Mind Freak the space to catch Dispenser, and this is looking so heartbreaking on the side of Secret, but Morkum keeps it alive! Mind Freak, he will have no qualms of being the nightmare on Short Street. As we are left with Dubstep and Jesse Vash, Ice Cold Jesse, if you can hear the call, this is the time to answer it. Dubstep is about to swing on to my freak! No! He was setting up the smoke! What was that? Jesse Bash is now down to 19 HP! They know where he is. They know how much damage he's taken. He'll be able to pick up the spike. He'll be able to throw out a recon dart, but this is three people? My god! Oh, and they're about to swing on him. They're just about to swing on him, and Mind Freak just pure 